turnout tonight. You know, about 13 months ago, I took this podium and I said we were happy, happy, happy. <laughs> yeah, well, we still are. Very happy, happy, happy. We're happy for Coach Clark because he has a wonderful opportunity. We're happy because of what he and his assistant coaches did for us this last year. They're now part of the great heritage which is Jacksonville State University Athletics, and we are very proud of them. We're happy for them. We wish them the best success. The last thing I told Coach Clark is we want a money game with you. And he said, okay. <laughs> it might take a while, but we want a money game with you. And we'll show them what's what. <laughs> We're happy because of the great success that we have had this year in football. We're happy because we're continuing to make progress for that success. We're happy because we've got Coach Gross and what that means for our players and for our university. And even Dr. Bodiford and our band are very happy about that. So we can't thank you for that. I want to tell you how much I appreciate the trustees and our athletic committee for supporting the recommendations that we have as administrators and athletic folks here. They got involved. They came to campus. They spent a great deal of time with us. We spent time with the team. And we were very concerned about our players and their future and want to keep them on track for the national championship. We have an outstanding football team. They have exceptional potential. We have a national championship that we can compete for. And we do not want that to get off track. Right? We're not going to lose traction at all with that because of the great support. This crowd here tonight tells me that we've got the right man for the job and very pleased with what he's going to be able to do for us and the continuity that he's going to bring. We're very concerned. We made a, a quick and I believe concise and correct decision. We're faced with 11 recruits that confirmed with us and 18 that are coming in this Saturday, with their families, we don't have a coach, what are we going to tell them? What are we going to tell those players out there of what their future and their scholarships are going to be? You know, when the trustees came in and announced to the team what their decision was, I saw great joy on the faces of our players. How many players we got here today? Go ahead, raise your hand. All right. They asked the players, did you guys work out today? <laughs> did you work out today? Did you go to class? All right, let me ask you one more question. Are you happy? Okay, good, good. That's what we want. Happy, happy, happy is what we want. Let me introduce a, another happy person right now. Moose, I hadn't lost him. There you are. Come on. Let's welcome our athletic director, Warren Cole. And as I said two nights ago at 9 o'clock, um, I would like to introduce you to your new football coach. We have a new coach that's joining us, but he's not new. He was with us a year ago. That football team that we just talked about broke 49 school records. <clears throat> Third, there they go. 13 Ohio Valley Conference records, three NCAA records, won our first two FCS playoff games and had a chance in the third one. And they know that they want to do more than that. So we've, we're looking for a leader and a person that they could really rally around. And we found a guy right here in our backyard, not even, in our front yard, in our offices, okay? It wasn't far, although Believe me, there are at least 100 phone calls coming in who people who wanted this job. It shows you how important Jacksonville State University is to people and how they know that we have a great university and a great football program, a great athletic department, great mascot. Thank you, Kagi. <laughs> and a great band. Where are you, Ken? Marching Southerners. I know you got a hand once, but I'll do it again. All of those ingredients work together. All of those groups of people work together to make this a success. But the guy who's going to lead us on the field and off the field with our football program, I'd like to introduce to you now. He's the 14th 
head coach in the modern, modern era of Jacksonville State University, and I'm proud to introduce Coach John Gross. This verse, it's like to say, it's overwhelmed, just, just proud to, to be here today. I'm, I've always been proud of my university. Me and my wife, Jay, are both graduates are here, and, and always, uh, it's a special place, you know, a special place to be. And family's excited because, you know, we're going to be moving up the road and, and build a house here and, and look for great things to happen here. But, you know, this day wouldn't be possible without a lot of folks. You know, I'd like to say a lot of a thank yous of, of this uh, gratitude. You know, number one, just... Uh, my Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, is, I wouldn't be here if it wasn't for that. Uh, these men standing up here behind me, Dr. Meehan, Coach Cole, these trustees, just great people, you know, and just sitting down with them a couple of hours, you know, the other night with all this going on, and I, I told somebody today I hadn't quit spending yet, you know, it's been, it has been a whirlwind, and I'm glad to have closure to that. And a lot of prayer and, and stuff goes into the decisions, but I'm so thankful to be here, and uh just I want to give them guys a uh, thanks for having the uh, confidence, you know, in me to lead this program forward, and uh, that means a lot to me. And uh, it's uh, they, the the speed that they reacted, you know, during whatever you want to call it, adversity, uh, you know, things going on in your program. Yeah, I wouldn't be here today if I didn't act that fast. And, and I appreciate that. Appreciate that that opportunity. Lord Tams was all over it all the way, and I'm, I'm where I'm supposed to be, and, and I'm proud to be here. Yeah, you know, I like to say just you know thank you to my family. You know, just life of a football coach, right, Coach Cole? It's, it's hard. It, it's hard on wives. Just allow me to coach. You know, this uh, the time that you invest in this game, the time you're away from home and and with kids. And you know, Jada has to do everything in the fall. You know, I, I'm non-existent. So I appreciate them doing that. I love them and um, just look look for them to grow up in in this community. And that's what we will be as part of this community and. Uh, Part of this university, and uh, we're we're proud for that. Um, another another guy, you know, I wouldn't be sitting here today with this opportunity without Bill Clark. Loved him like a brother. He gave me the opportunity, had confidence in me, you know, last year at this time to come in, run an offense, be the assistant head coach, you know, and, and we did a lot of great things. Uh, the 2013 team will never be forgotten, you know, and there's a bond with every team you're a part of. And there's a lot of great men on the staff. The players, everybody, and you go down in history what we did on the field, and uh, I'm thankful for that. Wish them well. You know, I told our players the other night. You know, I spoke to them, was introduced as head coach. I said, guys, you know, when I tell guys this all the time, life is ever changing. Never stays the change the same. You got stages of life, and the older you get, the harder decisions are, are made. But you got to do what's best for your family. And I said, just value, just like at bond of that 2013 team, value the relationships you have with people on a daily basis because it is ever changing. Don't mean those relationships are going away, but you better appreciate them on a daily basis. And that's something we can all learn from this. And uh, like I said, the 2013 team, this it was a special deal. And uh, we're, gonna, we're moving forward, you know, and, and we're looking forward to the future here. Um, and I just like to say one more thanks. I, I see my high school basketball coach, you know, sitting there, Larry two on. As was like to say thanks to the friends that I have here tonight. You know, I, I wouldn't in family, other family members. I wouldn't have this opportunity to work for them. You know, just you got different people that's put in your life that uh, makes you better people. You know, and I, I appreciate that, and all the players and coaches and people I've been around to give me this opportunity because it's not about me. You know, I told our team the other night, you know. We're going to have football at Jacksonville State University, you know, without John Gross, without whatever coach it is, and we've got a job to do to make this game cop nation proud. And uh, that will be our, our goal moving forward is just, you know, make the game cop nation proud of the product that you see on the field. And that's what we've been doing the last couple of days is working as, as hard as we can, you know, to do that. And uh, I, I think as university be proud of the continued success we're going to have, but it's uh, about that day in day out work ethic that we're going to have to get there. You know, and our goal right now is uh, to be better today than we were yesterday. You know, last year we were good. We had a great season. We will be better than that. Our goal here, just like Mr. Cox will say it, no pressure, 
win a national championship. That will continue. We want to win a national championship. We want to win. We want to win multiple national championships. But uh, you know, and people that have been around me before, they know I'm about more than that. I want to win as many national championships as possible. We want to win every game. But I'm about developing character in, in, in men. And the men, young men that come into our program, I'll tell parents this in recruiting, it's going to be about the, the process of, of developing your man, young man into the man we all want them to be, you know, the husbands we want them to be, the fathers that they want to be, um, and, and productive members of society. So uh, that's a process. You know, I, I believe in simplifying things. You can ask Coach Opal, who I'm grateful is here tonight and stayed with us. It means a lot to you. He knows how I got a sim simplistic uh, approach to offense, you know, and, I, and I, I believe in a kiss principle, you know, keep it simple, stupid, you know. <laughs> but, uh, you know, two rules basically, you know, and our guys know that. You know, do right and please your boss. You do those two things in life, you'll be ultra successful. And, uh, you know, we're going to work hard each and every day. And, uh, like I said, just producing those young men that we're all going to be proud of, you know. And I, I believe there's, there's three phases of that. That you have to do. You, you have to. You have to look at the whole person. You know. So we're, in, we're interested in the person that our players are going to become and that man that will become. So, you know, the, the way you treat people. You know, how do you do that? Well, it starts with what type of person you are in every situation you're putting. Okay. How you treat people. And we made a, a, a great change in that within a year, and it's it's going to get better and better. But everybody, you come into contact, showing the love of Jesus Christ to them that God has for us. And treating them with respect to, to gain that respect from them. And uh, that's the thing we're going to work on is what type of people we are. Not just on the field, but off the field. When you see our guys in the community, we want them acting right. And we want you to be proud of them if they're Jacksonville State you know, football player. And the way they represent our great university. And uh, that's that's big. And we talk to our guys about what type of students you are. You know, we're going to make them go to class. You know, we're, we're going we're to check, uh, you know, study hall and... Uh, study sessions and, and, and do a good job of that. So we had the best GPA last spring in, in the school's history. We're going to better that this spring. And we're going, you know, we're going to challenge them to be the best student they can be, which is their future of how they can provide for their family and getting that degree and, and, and supporting that family and being a, being a good husband and, and being a good father. You know, that's a, that's a big process of who you're going to end up being. So we're going to challenge them as students, okay? And then we're going to challenge them as players. That's the third phase. We're going to challenge them as a player. Well, you had a great full quarter session this morning. You know, some guys back there. It was, it was, it was taxing. You know, you, you poll a group, and I polled it this morning. How many people want to win? Everybody raise your hand. Everybody wants to win. Okay. And, and I believe, though, when I talked about this, I believe that is cocky wants to win, right? <laughs> we, um, I believe that's in your DNA, though. The difference between a winner and a loser, and I said this this morning to our players, you know, uh, they, they, there's a big difference between a winner and a loser. A winner don't always win, okay, on the scoreboard. That's the way you compete. You know, a loser, you can have somebody that is very athletic, they don't have a good work ethic, and, you know, don't always finish things, and, you know, you know just don't compete. They, they, losers win sometimes, you know. They win sometimes. But in the way you compete is a big thing. A winner doing a little bitty things right, that's where the national championship's going to come from. Doing a little bitty thing, how you're made up as a person. We're going to challenge the DNA of these players to get better each and every day. And uh, it, it, as a person, as a student, as a player, and learn how to compete in everything that we do. And, and that, you're going to see those results on the field. You're going to be proud of that. And uh, like I said, I, I'm just so grateful for... You know, this opportunity, you know, to be here and moving this program forward and the things that we're going to be able to accomplish uh, and, and the men that we're going to turn out, you know, from the success we're going to have from our program. And, and it's being a part of our university, you know, because it's not just all about football. It's about, you know, Jacksonville State as well. So, you know, we're, we're, I'm proud of this university and, and, and so glad to be here. And, uh, again, just thank you. Thank you for the friends and family that's come and players and, and everybody across the university that makes this university up.